Hello guys, welcome to The Train Parrot. I got two amazing news. I'm very excited about these two new things that we are releasing today. The first thing that we are going to release is a tool that is going to prevent you to have to be writing down BAQL to give instructions to your bot. From now, you're going to be able to use this tool called the BAQL tool that once you fill the form and you select all the different criteria that you want to use to select your coins for the signal that we want to use, the the logic about the orchestrator rules that you want to apply to your bot is going to automatically produce the code that you can just copy and paste into your bot. And secondly, today I'm going to be covering a new version of Gavin's DCA back tester. This version is called the Pro version, which is going to come with new advanced features and a lot of focus on statistics that they can help you fine tune the settings of your bot. Up until now, all the members of TTP, what they have to do is they have to define what is their criteria to do pair selection based on different metrics from Lunar Crash or CoinGecko, and then so far we had to write down the logic to select it the filters the sorting criteria all these things by understanding how it works the language BAQL BAQL is a very powerful language that allows you to do that but the downside is that people really needed to learn how to use this and go through the documentation and many of our users were just copy pasting someone else's code to do something and let's face it not many people have time to really learn how to express the strategy from today you can just use this form so let's go through the form it's pretty simple first of all this area here is all to do with the pair selection so in this area there we are going to select the categories that we want to select the pairs let's say we want to go with tokens that belong to erc we also want to go with bsc ecosystem we want the top 10 pairs sort by any of these criteria: lunar crash old rank the ones that they have moved more in percentage in in the last day in dollar value or in bt C value, the movement in the hour, the social volume, the bullish sentiment, the market cap and market volume. You can sort by any of these things and you can decide to go reverse. So that will put in the opposite order the sorting. As you can see in this area there, we are already seeing the pair selection. We say we were going to go with ERC and BSC and the top 10 lunar crash old rank. So, so far we didn't have to write any of that code. We just have to fill the form. Now we are going to apply some some filters we're gonna say that we want a market cap above 100 million which is what i wrote there we already have selected that the daily movement in dollar to be less than 20 percent this is a pretty cool option because we don't want things that have pumped too much especially when we are going long and let's say we want to add also that the bullish sentiment is greater than 10 for example then you will click on add filter after reviewing it you might decide that you no longer want this filter you can remove it from there in this area here you can select which signal you want to send to your bot let's say we want to go with lambo signal and then here there is all the criteria for orchestration of the bot in other words when you want to start and stop the bot Let's say we want to use SuperTrend as the provider of the orchestration signal. For that, we select this one there and we say on sell, I want to stop and close all the bot deals at market price. So that is the option that is already selected here. And on buy, you want to start the bot. So you will add that in there. It's already selected. You could add more orchestration rules if you want. You could say if the dollar index is on a buy, I want to stop the bot. And then you add it and you get also now we see that there is two providers of orchestration signals and one of them is starting and stopping the bot and the other one is just stopping the bot everything here is in a summary which as i mentioned you can expand so you can see it in multiple lines split by the different rules or you can see it in a single line if the colors are bothering you you can disable them i really like this option the colorize and then you can copy it to the clipboard once you copy it to the clipboard 
clipboard, you just go to your bot and you paste it in the name. You're welcome to name the bot anything here. As long as you don't break this code, it should be ready to go after one hour or depending on your allowance on bot assistant, depending on the tier that you have on TTP, then you're going to get a different frequency of updates in the bot pair. You need to make sure that you have selected multiple pair because in this case we have 10 pairs. So if you have it in single pair, it won't be able to populate 10 pairs. But after you've done this and you save the bot, all you have to do is wait one hour. So now let's say that we have this BAQL code and you don't know how to modify it. Let's say you want to disable a, an orchestrator signal that you no longer want to use. You can go back to the tool, you can paste the BAQL code starting from BAQL and ending with this symbol and then you can hit import and what this is going to do is going to magically auto populate the form with the things that are selected from the code. Once the code is already imported you can modify it further Let's say I want to remove all those things. And then once you have modified everything you wanted to change, you can just go ahead and copy it again, the code and paste it and replace the previous BAQL code that you have before by the new one. So as you can see, it's pretty simple now to produce BAQL code. We believe that that's going to massively help our users to be able to define their own rules for per selection rather than just being copy pasting BAQL calls around. We know how important it is to have a bot that is of your own with your own strategy. And I think this is going to massively help for that. The second thing that I wanted to cover today is the introduction of Gavin's DCA Backtester Pro version. This Pro version is just the beginning. This is the initial version of the pro version. First of all, we have this new table, which we call the pro stats. And in here, you're going to see percentiles. And that's the distribution of all the deals across all the period that we traded. It's very different from going to the list of trades because in trading view each of the safety orders is considered a separate deal whereas in this table every single deal is a full dca bill consisting of all the safety orders and base order and what we can see here is the distribution of the deal duration we can see that in the first percentile we have 143 deals that close in less than 2.7 days and that constitutes almost 98 percent of the deal Deal. and they made by themselves a profit of almost 13k and that constitutes 77 almost percent of all the profit by this bot we believe that this information is pure gold for all the users that are thinking to place a stop loss, all the users that are considering using timeout. I mean, imagine you're going to know exactly in the backtesting where are in time the deals closing. We can see here that there's a single deal that took it, that entered the percentile of the 27 days. There's a whole vacuum here of no deals closing before that. So theoretically, somewhere here is where we could place a timeout to prevent this from being 27 days long. If you want to be able to use BAQL, Bot Assistant, and all these tools, you can just visit our website, thetradingparrot.com, and head to the top menu, what's included. In there, you're going to be able to see the different tiers from Observer and above, you get access to the Bot Assistant. Obviously, the higher the tier, the more updates you get per day, and the more bots that you can manage, the more signals, the more orchestrator signals that you can use. We recommend that users, they start with Observer if they want to really try out the bot assistant and, and learn how to use it in the beginning. And then if you become a power user, you can go for VIP or Gold. In regards to the pro version of Gavin's DCA Backtester, from October, this version of the script is going to be available for VIP members and higher. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments. What do you think about the new BAQL tool? What would you change to the tool to make it more user-friendly? Any other feature that we might have missed? Just let us know in the comments and also if there's any specific advanced statistics that you would like to see that we implement in DCA Backtester as well uh, just let us know in a comment uh, but I'm telling you that in our backlog we have loads of advanced statistics that we want to start including into this script we are really excited on working on that in the next few months guys if you like the content I really appreciate if you can subscribe to the channel give us a like and the best thing that you 
you can do for this channel as usual is leave a comment i'll see you in the next one take care bye bye